Welcome in factory Kubiček balance and I will show you how to do maintenance of serious burner. Before any maintenance work I recommend you to use maintenance manual. First of all I will loose this bolt and remove the handle. In next step I will loose the hose and on the another side uh, the connector and uh, I will change the connector. Now I open this valve and turn this handle. I will have more space to loose the hose. Now I uh, lose the connector. And uh, if you will uh, change the connector, you have to clean this three thing. Or if you will change the hose as well, uh, you will get uh, uh, the hose like spare parts with uh, ever seal applied so you don't need to use teflon tape but now i will uh, change ju just the connector and uh, use this uh, old hose so we will clean the three thing you can see we take away old bonded seal I wrapped the front tape on the free thing. And you can see I use this tool and you can see torque value in maintenance manual. Now I clean the three things and as well in manifold box. Put new bonded seal, secure by Loctite and turn back the hose inside the manifold block. Put back the handle and uh, you have to put Loctite on the three thing. After this you should do leak test because uh, we uh, open this three thing and that three thing on the another side of hose and uh, we should uh, check the leaking of the hose. Now I will uh, remove a uh, frame. We will lose these three uh, bolts. And the same bolts on the other side. And now we can uh, remove all burner. Assemble burner back to the frame. We secure it by six uh, bolts. Four of them will be secured by Loctite. These bolts are lubricated by Vaseline. And the bolts with Loctite I will use 
here which will be tightened in manifold block. The same on the opposite side. And now I tighten with torque wrench. And the burner is assembled inside the frame. You, you can set up the tilting of the burner inside the frame and you can set up by these knobs by tightening and now you can see higher rigidity. I will show you how to disassemble and assemble uh, pilot valve and uh, mine blast valve. First of all we will remove handle. I will lose uh, this bolt and uh, remove the lever from pilot light and uh, I will not disassemble all of them because pilot light and uh, whisper burner the inner parts in the manifold blocks are the same. The, the difference is between uh, pilot light valve and uh, mine blast valve. There is one more bolt inside, which you have to lose. You don't need to take it away the bolt because it's just securing for the, this uh, hole. Now I'm losing the valve. You can see. In next step, I will uh, lose mine blast lever. There is a retaining ring which you have to remove. Now I remove the pin. The washers. And the valve. Now you can see the difference between these walls. The body is different, the spring is different, and the stamp is the same, but uh, there is one more washer, and it's only on the blast valve. During the maintenance, you check the O-rings, you have to lubricate it again, and uh, everything put together. I will clean the stamp. I check these O-rings on these bodies. If isn't damaged, you don't have to change it. And the o-rings on the stems you have to change it every time so i cut them Take them away. Now I clean old the line. You could uh, see on these stems was uh, gray was the line, which you can see here, or you can see. Uh, stamps with uh, white vaseline. There are two options and uh, we recommend the white vaseline. Now I put back the o-rings on the stamps.
in next step I will lubricate them and uh, I will use the grey one because before uh, was a grey one so I will use the same. Now we have to put back the correct parts. There is washer, so there is this uh, spring, this valve body. I lubricate it with Vaseline, and the second one. Lubricate the three thing and O-ring. We put back these washers. The valves are ready to be assembled back. Now I check the inner part. If is it clean? I use pressed air. Now I put back the valve from the pilot light. And valve from wine blast valve. Now I put back the washer, this pad tight back these bolts. The bolts doesn't need to be uh, tight too much. Now I put back the lever, use the Loctite for the bolt. and there must be some movement. Now we put back the next washers, the rear pin. Now pin is inside and uh, I secure it with retaining ring. Now I put back the handle, the board, secure by Loctite. And now pilot light and mine blast valve are assembled and uh, you should uh, do leak test. I remove the handle. Next step, I uh, lose the central board. Now I can put the burner on the levers. Now I can remove the coil. Now we can put back the coil. First we check the O-ring, make sure that the O-rings are on the both sides, lubricate them. And now we can put back the coil on the manifold block. The super tubes are inside. Now we assemble the central bolt. The three things lubricate with 
was a line. Now we can continue in this area and put back the board. And now I tighten the bolts with torque wrench. And the last step I tighten the central bolt and for the final tighten I use torque wrench again. The maintenance of the pressure reducer you can do uh, through the spiral or the easier way it's without spiral. Now I lose this part. And take out these all parts. Now I start with disassembling all parts. Now you can see all parts, uh, for example this uh, jet it's usually very dirty but this one is clean. Here you can see old used filter, check the hole inside this uh, jet and uh, clean all parts. So I will start with the piston, check the hole, clean this chamber. Now we can put together all parts. So I use new filter. You can see the difference between used one and new one. I put back the filter. Put back the jet. Turn back this part. And uh, every time I put new O-rings, which have to be lubricated by Teflon Vaseline. And first step, put back the O-ring inside the chamber. In next step, was align the piston and now put back the piston. Lubricate the O-ring. Now I put back this ring and you can regulate the flame. I recommend to set up like this and uh, when you ignite the burner you can you can move it later now i put back the jet and secure by bolt now i assemble back the pressure reducer with spring Now you have to set up this uh, end of the igniter against this hole and every time put this bolt inside the coil. I will show you how to disassemble and assemble pressure gauge. First of all, loose this bolt on this part can take out this ring and now 
you can lose the gauge and you can see it's uh, sealed by teflon and o-ring inside this hole in case of changing the gauge you have to wrap new teflon tape if the pressure gauge is broken we put new one in first step we we wrap the three thing with tape put the o-ring inside and turn back the new pressure gauge and now we can continue with this ring and secure it with this board If the piezo igniter doesn't work properly, try to clean this area and uh, if it doesn't help it, you have to change piezo igniter. You have to lose this bolt and next press uh, the piezo igniter out and put new one. And now the burner is safe to use and you can enjoy your flight.